Speaking of sports, yes, sir. Trevor Lawrence, your guy. Is he my guy? I know, I know, I'm just not. Nah, nah. say, like, I, don't, I don't remember <laughs> adopting that one. <laughs> Martin Weiss, notorious Trevor Lawrence fan. Yeah, yo, oh, nah, he yo. called it last year, man. He didn't think Jacksonville was going to do anything last year. I had him missing the playoffs. Yep. So boy, I'll tell you what, for the first eight weeks of the season, I was like, wait a minute, this might be the best team in the <laughs> AFC. <laughs> All right. Uh, he agreed to a five-year, $275 million yes. contract extension. That makes him one of the highest-paid quarterbacks in NFL history. Mm. Mm. $142 million fully guaranteed, a $37.5 million signing bonus. That'll pay for the groceries. Yeah. Now he's going to have an average annual salary of $55 million, which ties him with Cincinnati's Joe Burrow for the most in NFL history. Now this comes a month after Detroit gave Jared Goff a four-year contract extension worth $212 million, making him the second highest paid uh-huh. at 53. So now he is the third highest paid with two guys tied at one on an annual average value. He's the sixth quarterback, making more than $50 million a year. Joining Joe Burrow, Jared Goff, mm-hmm. Justin Herbert, mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson, and Hurt. Jalen Hurts. And Jalen Hurts. 14th quarterback to top $40 million annually, and he's the youngest on the list, has not yet turned 25 years old. BJ, when you saw the Trevor Lawrence news drop, what was your first reaction? Ooh, so is about to give his ass. That means the Dolphins, you don't have a choice. You waited too long, man. You should have been paid. Listen, I love the Jalen Waddle deal. I do. But you should have paid to it. And now the market keeps getting out. He's not going to be the highest paid. They're not going to give to it. And that's fine. I'm not. I don't need to to make 55, 60 million. That pressure, every time he throws an interception, every time he, it'll just, it'll, it will really rack my head. It'll make me turn certain stuff off this fall. And I don't want to do that because I think the Dolphins have a chance to have a really good season, better than last year, finishing 11 and 6. I think they should be better this year, especially when they get back Chubb and get back Phillips. So the first thing I thought was, okay, so you've got to pay Tua now. Like this deal's going to get done. You got to give Tua, and Tua's going to get his money. But as far as it being uh, Trevor Lawrence, you know me, Martin. Business as usual, guys. I'm I'm not a he ain't earned it guy. That's not my that's not my stick in sports talk radio. That's not I know other people do that. It, in the NFL, it just goes in order. There are times when guys remember Matt Ryan's deal. Matt Ryan hadn't even gotten to that Super Bowl yet. He hadn't even won an MVP yet, and he was the highest paid player in the league. Because it was just his turn to get paid. Y'all really going to be mad when the Bears got to pay a Caleb Williams or the Commanders got to pay a um, Daniels. A Daniels or, you know, or Minnesota's got to pay J.J. McCarthy. Y'all really going to be mad then because these deals are coming earlier now. You can see it. So you can point to, oh, well, he doesn't have a lot of success. And they had a bad year last year. You want to run the risk of losing the guy? Well, they you, were cooking before he got hurt. Before he got hurt. Call, no, no. They were on. I'm Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, early, early spoiler. I'm I'm right back on them in the AFC South. They had some injuries last year. They will them and the Vikings, I believe, will be two teams that will bounce back big this year. But it, it's business as usual. This is the way it goes, and you got to pay your quarterback when it's time to pay them. Don't play around with it. You got the money. You're billionaires. I don't want to hear about salary cap and all that crap. Make it work. This is your job. There are people that are put in place to look at the cap every day, look at the numbers, crunch, move this contract, move that contract, move some front money here, move this money here. Hey, call this agent. Let's see if this guy will do this for us. That's their job. There's a room of people that do this. So get it done. I'm not hearing no excuses. But when it's time to pay your quarterback, you better pay him now. Or you know who you're going to end up like? Jerry Jones, who probably should have paid Dak way before he should that he paid Dak. He should have paid Dak when Dak when it was like, well, at one point it was like 30-something million. And then it kept going up. It kept going up. Did he pay Zeke? Did he pay Mark? Did he pay? You're paying everybody else. You got to pay your quarterback when it's time to pay your quarterback. Now that he's got the money, now comes the okay He's got to go in now. He's got, which is fine. That's that's just the way this game goes. Once you get paid as a quarterback, once you get paid as a wide receiver, once you get paid as a rush in, now you got to go perform. All the excuses are out the door. So he's got to perform big this this fall. His head coach better coach big this fall. We know about the NFL coaches uh, carousel door. He'll be out. Remember, Doug Peterson won the Super Bowl. Okay, beat beat Tom Brady and Bill Belichick head to head. In a shootout, over 40 points, both teams. He was fired four years later. And, and so I, I thought the Super Bowl should at least buy you five to six seasons, but after four, he was gone. 
Uh, some heads will be rolling if this doesn't turn out, and then sooner or later, Trevor's got to have, you know, he's got to have the production on the field to match the money. And that's the thing that I think is people are losing their, their mind over. How could you pay Trevor Lawrence? You don't have a choice. $55 million, Trevor Lawrence. Joe Burrow went to the Super Bowl. Jared Goff went to two NFC. Ch- I get it. I understand. But here's the thing. The Jacksonville Jaguars were so damn bad prior to when Trevor Lawrence walked in. They picked number one back to back years. <laughs> they did. They did. They did. They had You're right. Back to back number one overall picks. That's where the Carolina Panthers are now. Yeah. Uh, have, should have had back to back number should've. one overall picks. Yep. Now, you mean to tell me, I don't think that this will be the case, but just entertain the world in which this possibly could happen. Say Bryce Young gets the Carolina Panthers and they win the NFC South next year. Mm-hmm. In seven and nine. Or what is it? What would it be now? Eight, uh, nine and eight. Nine and eight, but win the NFC South. Go to a playoff game. Win that playoff game. And then the next year, nine, nine and eight again. And maybe this time they lose the wild card. The Carolina Panthers should and will back up the Brinks, the Brinks truck, truck. To sign Bryce Young. To sign Bryce and stack money taller than him yep. to sign it. <laughs> Why? Because they ha- were absolutely terrible before they got there. Before yeah. he got there, that's where the Jacksonville Jaguars were. You, it couldn't have gotten worse. You got your head coach kicking the place kicker in Trevor Lawrence's oh, rookie man. year. Now I'm not here to defend Trevor Lawrence. I'm not here to say he should have. But what I am here to say is he is a, a he is a a sail on the ship heading the right direction. He allows you to fill that sail with wind, and the ship is heading in the right direction. And doing the deal now, yep. instead of doing like Tua, where they waited for Tua, understandably with the injury concerns, they waited for Dak. Now those guys are going to cost that much more. This is essentially, it's not like they're erasing the last two years off of Trevor Lawrence's rookie deal. This is an extension yep. that will kick in in three years. Or two years, two seasons, three years. Yep. So you mean to tell me, over the span of this deal, they're really doing it's fifty three million or fifty five million a year if you just count those five. But just count the next two. That thing goes down like forty eight million when you average average it all out from here to now. I'm look, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. That will, in essence, do one. Th- and the Vegas Raiders did this. They did it with Derek Carr. Now, did it absolutely work out with Derek Carr? That you know, it it, it remains you know probably not. If you're looking at it long said, it probably didn't work out in the way they thought. But it allowed them to have a cap-controlled quarterback under contract, which you can restructure, you can change, you can kick wave years down the line. But you know what you got? You got a quarterback. Yep. Now we can figure everything else out. That's what the Jaguars did. And in a division in which you have C.J. Stroud, who is skyrocketing up the ranks, of quarterbacks in the NFL. He's going to ask Had for a, a deal after this year. Well, he can't sign with until after his third year. No, but in some type of extension. But, if they, they go win the division again this year, CJ's people are going to say, hey, buddy, we're, we're going to, whether you want us or not, we're going we're gonna to get you some money right here. But so, but you got CJ Stroud in the division. You got Anthony Edwards in the division. I'm not Anthony Edwards, Anthony Richardson, Richardson. in the division. Right, we'll see what he becomes injury prone last year. Maybe he becomes everything they thought when they drafted him at four. Right, Anthony, Anthony Edwards would probably be a pretty good quarterback, yeah. but that's beside <laughs> the point. You got the, those two entrenched, yep. right? And then who knows what happens with the other team in the division? But what you got right now is you got Trevor Lawrence, who was lauded by damn near every, this contract extension was happening by the time Trevor Lawrence was first fourteen mm-hmm. when he was top of his class at every step of the way. It was going to happen. Now it happens for your team. Build around him and have a chance to compete. That's why I, once you know who your guy is, you got to pay him. Don't play around no, with it. No. Don't mess around with nope. it. Nope. And that's what the Jaguars did because soon, soon and very soon, it will be a quarterback. And I think it'll probably be Dak Prescott, but it will be a quarterback whose number annually starts with a 6-0. And that's in the millions. You, you got a su- discount low-key doing it now. You might be Trevor surprised Lawrence. who it could be because I'm sitting here. I have, the, I have the list of the quarterbacks up in front of me and what they're making. Two is definitely getting his deal. He's making $7.5 million 
per season what his contract is. That's less than Caleb Williams and Sam but Darnold. Two will, I so, think two will come in between 49 and, and 53. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. That, yes, that he's going to be in that range. He won't, but I, I'm trying to see who can top 61st. And you got Josh Allen at 28 years old. His boy can't. His boy can't be the. Uh, he, 2029. He's an unrestricted free agent. You got uh, Matt Stafford, but we think he's on his career is pretty much other. Dak is the next guy. Dak's making 40 right now. That they could be voided after next season. Dak could be the quarterback that could go onto the market. Now Dak. Now he's 31. That's 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 going to be the kicker for me. But. In the NFL of today where you can't touch guys and you can't hit guys and it's not as physical, they want to change the OTAs. They don't even want you practicing so much no more. And quarterbacks are super protected in this league. I don't even know why guys even run anymore. I would just stay in the pocket. I, I run if I got to, but I ain't trying to make it part of my game because you're going to limit your plays and limit your days that way. We see Anthony Richardson, like, slow down, young man. You already got banged up. Your rookie year, you're not Cam Newton. And that's no disrespect. You're just not. Cam Newton was special. But when you look at these quarterbacks – Dak can play another six, seven years. He's not lost the step. He's not, for whatever you think about him, when you put the tape on, he can still drop back, he can still read, and he can still make throws, period. He made C.D. Lamb look like a top-10 guy this year. So at 31, Dak's a guy. He might be the guy, man. It's not going to be Aaron Rodgers. It's not going to be Carr. It's not going to be Baker, Geno, Love. Maybe Love. Maybe Love, because they're going to have to pay Love eventually, right? He's only 13.5 right now. Mm-hmm. So they're definitely going to have to play love soon. If 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 love goes out and wins the NFC North this year, they go win a playoff game. He's asking for a new deal or an extension in the offseason. When you have success, you got to strike hot. But also on the team side, that's from the player side. On the team side, like Mar said, when you got your guy, pay your guy. Don't play around with it. It's going to cost you more. I thought the Dolphins were smart by getting Waddle locked in because I think if you pay two of first. You might end up probably losing Waddle in the long run, maybe next year. He's locked in. Tyreek's there. The other young weapons are there on rookie deals, especially in the backfield. You got to give Tua his bread, man. Tua's the next guy. Martin, I'll tell you this. I'll be honest, man. I ended on this. I wouldn't be surprised if Tua would hit 56 or 55. Because whether be people think surprised. he deserves it or not, if that's what his representative, Drew Rosenhaus, if that's what Drew goes in there and says, listen, this is the deal. This guy's getting this. This guy's getting this. Joe Burrow can't finish. He's been hurt, so I don't want to hear about Burrow's deal. To it, we want to be the highest paid court. I'm just, I don't think he will be, but I think it eclipses 50. Yeah, I think it'll be in that 49 to 53 range where it'll just come in squarely third or fourth in terms of, of quarterback average annual salary. But this just shows you, man, if you've got your guy, go get him because if the Carolina, not the Carolina Panthers, Atlanta Falcons, just dropped a hundred million guaranteed, a <laughs> hundred and eighty total for the next four years for a guy with a torn Achilles who's thirty five. Yeah, and got in trouble for doing it. And got in trouble and for got, doing and it. And got in trouble for doing it. It's like, you know why? And I texted a scout when that happened. I texted a scout I met down at the senior ball. I was like, dog, uh, four years, a hundred and eighty million. Yeah. He said, Listen, bro, it's hard to find these quarterbacks. It, hey. It's hard to find these quarterbacks. And whether you like Kurt or not, I don't care what people say about him. This is the the film don't lie. If he's healthy and he has a weapon or two, he can win you games. And you need a quarterback that you know can win you games. Not thinking win you games. You know they can win you games.